Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to part 16 for my RPG basic series. In this video, we're going to be adding in the level up system with experience. And so that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all your support with my Udemy course and with my Game Maker book. It has been just overwhelmingly amazing the last little while. And so I want to thank you guys for that. And I also want to thank you guys for continuing and watching this series because part 16, that's pretty far. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope that you've learned something through this series. Don't worry, this isn't the last video. I'm going to do more. But I just wanted to thank you guys for that. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a new sprite. So I'm going to right click on the sprites and I'm going to create a sprite and it's just going to be called sprite EXPR and I'm going to make it 8 by 8. Whoops, not 80 by 80, 8 by 8. Is that going to be big enough? Maybe. And then I'm just going to make it uh, this little white circle basically and <laughs> that's annoying. Is that a new game maker thing? What? Do you guys see in that? And I can't undo? What? That was weird. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try making a circle again. There we go. That was the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to center this sprite. And that's going to be our experience point. That's what the enemies are going to drop when they get killed basically. So let's create an object right here. We're going to call this object experience. We're going to add in our little experience point. We're going to make it a physics object. Uses physics. We're going to give it a pretty big linear dampening, which is just going to slow it down. Um, let's make it one. Give it a linear dampening of one. And we'll give it a Modify collision shape. It's already a circle. Looks good right there. Okay. So we've got our experience point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have our player. And we're going to make it so that... Well, first we're going to do is we're going to go into the object player underscore stats. And you can see we've got HP, max HP, stamina, max stamina, and level. So we're going to add two more variables here. We're going to call this one EXPR equals zero max expr equals 10. So we're just going to have the max experience point. Well, actually, let's make it equal to 3 for now for testing purposes. So we've got our experience and our max experience. And the reason I didn't use exp is because that's a built-in variable inside of GameMaker, and so it's not going to work very well. So expr is going to work better. expr max expr. Now that we've created that, what we can do is we can have the player object have a collision event with the experience object. Inside of this collision event, we're going to experience. We're going to destroy the other object, so with other. So other refers to the experience point, which is what we're colliding with in this situation. With other uh, instance destroy. Then we want to add one experience point, experience point to our um, experience point. So we're going to do player stats. Wait, no, we named it object player stats dot experience plus equals one. So that's going to add one to the experience point. Now what we can do is, since we know that we've added one to the experience point, like that, in fact, uh, a better way to do this maybe, is we're going to use a with statement, with object player stats. So inside of this with statement, we can remove this right here, because we're already inside of the player stats object, inside of these brackets. So um, we did the same thing up here, but we left out the brackets. You can add those in if you want to, uh, just to make things more clear. 
so now that we're inside of these brackets right here, everything we do is as if we were inside the player stats. So we're going to want to check for a level up right here. And the reason we'll check for a level up right here is because if we check for a level up right here, uh, we're not doing it every single step of the game. We're only doing it when we collide with the experience point. So it's a slight optimization. Probably it's not going to make that much of a difference overall because it's a really slight one, but it shows that you're thinking about these kinds of things. And some of you have been posting in the comments different optimization ideas that you have. So that's good too. It's good to always be thinking about it. Um, there's some really big things that in Game Maker are important. Reducing the amount of code inside of a dry event is really helpful. Uh, reducing the amount of objects that you have, that's another really good way to optimize your game. And then if you're using surfaces, trying to reduce the amount of surfaces or the size of the surfaces that you're using that can help. Those are the things that I've noticed personally with performance. So anyways, let's get doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if experience experience is greater than or equal to max experience. Basically, if we're leveling up, we're going to do level plus equals one. So we're going to level up. Then what we need to do is we need to set uh, we need to set our experience back down to zero and then add some more to our max experience. Now because our experience points are all in increments of one, there's never going to be a time or when we're going to have extra experience. There's never going to be a time when our experience is actually greater than the max experience. We could technically just do equals equals here. But if there was a time, like let's say you decide to add a different number here, like 1.5 instead of 1, you're going to have extra experience sometimes. And so the way that you handle that is you do experience equals experience minus max experience. So if our experience was equal to 12 and we leveled up, okay? It would set our experience equal to 12 minus 10, which is 2. So we would, we would keep the two extra experience points that we had, and we wouldn't lose those. So I'm setting it up this way just in case. But technically, the way it's set up here, you could just set this to 0 because we're only adding 1. But just in case any of you want to maybe add a special experience orb that gives you twice as much or whatever, uh, this is the right way to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set max experience to a new number. So max experience. Um, now the way you do this depends on how you want your leveling system to work. I'm just going to add 5. Mass exp max experience plus equals 5. Actually, I'm just going to add 3. So the next level, we'll have to get three more experience points. Another way to do this would be to... If you want it to get exponentially more difficult to level up, and you might want to actually, um, you could just double it. So max experience times equals two. So every new level takes you twice as long to reach. That will make it exponentially more difficult to level up each time. So anyways, this is our level up code. And uh, how you handle this depends on what kind of a formula you want to set up for leveling up. But this should work. Um, we should be able to run the game and try it, except for that the experience points don't get dropped by anything. So let's go into our enemy slime object here and let's add an event. We'll add a destroy event. So this will happen when the enemy slime gets killed or destroyed. We're going to drop a couple of these uh, experience orbs. And I have to close out of Skype here. Ryan's messaging me. Okay. Um, poor guy. He's got big news for me, apparently, and I, I can't... Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's do um, 
create that experience. So instance create x, y, object, experience. So we're just going to create one experience orb for each enemy we kill right now. You could create more if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do the one. So let's run this game and see how it works. Uh, okay, so we're level one, right? Come up to this enemy. We kill it, drops an experience point. We collect that. We're still level one, but we need technically we need three of these. There we go. Another one. We got that one. Let's come kill this one right here. Kill this enemy. Hopefully not take any damage. Level up, and there you go. We're level two. But technically, nothing else has happened. Like, our health is the same. Our stamina is the same. We're just level two instead. It's not, not much is different. So let's do a couple things here. First of all, let's modify our level up code. So go into the player, into the collision here. Let's make it so that when we level up, we add to the max health and the max stamina and the health and the stamina. So we're going to do HP plus equals 2 max HP plus equals 2 uh, stamina plus equals 2 and max sta max stamina plus equals 2. And these are just arbitrary values that I've come up with. Let's add in another variable in here as well that's going to be attack. I'm just going to do a, well, let's do attack. And we'll say the player's attack is equal to 1. That's their attack stat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add to the player's attack stat when he levels up. So attack plus equals 1. So I added the attack variable in the player stats create event right here. And I also added on to the attack variable, like added one to it when we level up. Now let's go into our player object right here. Actually, we're going to go into the player states, into the attack state. Inside of our attack state, scroll down to where we create the damage object. Okay. Now our damage object, if you remember, Oh, well, it's glitching out a little. If you remember, has a damage variable that it does, and it does one damage. So what we're going to do is when we create this damage object, we're going to set the damage of the damage object equal to the attack stat of the player. So damage dot damage. Okay, damage right here refers to the instance that we're creating, the damage instance we're creating. Damage right here refers to how much damage it's going to do. Damage dot damage equals object player stats dot attack. So now when our player levels up, his attack stat is actually going to get stronger. He'll do more damage to the enemies. So I'm going to add another enemy into this room right here. Actually, I'm going to add. I'm going to add uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to add four enemies. So by the time we level up twice, we should be able to one-shot the last enemy, kill it in one hit, because I think the enemies only have three hit points. So let's attack this one right... Oh, dang it, he got us. Okay, we'll c collect that experience. Collect this one. We're uh, trying to level up here. Okay, so uh, we had a mistake. I did max stamina plus equals two, and apparently... If you look, so what happened was inside of the level up code, I have uh, max stamina plus equals two. But if you look at the player stats, you can see that I spelled it wrong and it's max stamina. So we're going to add an A there. I spelled it wrong inside of the player stats, uh, but that's what that error message was. Let's run this one more time, see how well it works. So generally, when you get an error message, the first... Okay, here's another one. Perfect. Max Stamin. Uh, wow, we actually I actually spelled it wrong twice. This is in... So let's look at this error message. This is really good debugging practice for you guys. You can see it's in the draw event for object player stats. It tells us exactly where it is. 
and it's max stamen, which you can see I spelled wrong. So we already know what the problem is. I spelled it wrong. So we're going to abort. We're going to go into object player stats, draw GUI event, come in here and just change this so it's max stamina right there and fix that. But what I wanted to say uh, is if you guys get an error message, read through it like that. See if you can come up with uh, the reason why it's not working. It will tell you where the error is and what, and what um, object and in what event and even what line it's on pretty close within a couple of lines. So read those error messages. If you're getting weird physics error messages, here's my suggestions. Make sure that all of your objects are make sure that uh, the object that has the physics property is checked as a physics object. And second, make sure the room is checked. Those are the most common errors with physics is the room not being checked to physics. So let's do this again. We'll collect our experience. Hopefully we can level up a couple times here. Oh, we should be able to hit both of those at the same time. Perfect. Okay, so we're level two. We should now be able to two shot a slime. So, well, there's all three of them right there. So one, two, yep, we can two shot these ones. And then we should be able to one shot this one. It already took damage though, so it's kind of cheap. But there you go. We're level two. Oh yeah, we didn't level up because it gets exponentially harder. I forgot about that. But we're level two, so we should do two damage now instead of one damage. So pretty cool to watch that. See how you can do a simple leveling system with experience like that. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching it. Thank you so much for the support. If the video was helpful, be sure and like it. Share it on Twitter and Facebook. And I will talk to you guys later.